Harold Camping, The King of the Cuckoo Birds, Part 2. We're getting closer. It's Friday night. We're uh, less than 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours from now, according to Nutty Boy here, we're going to be raptured away. Well, at least some of us might if God decides to save us, you know. But uh, Brother sent me this article here from the Mail Online. I'm going to put a link to it down in the description box. Uh, be careful when you go there. Um, it's mainstream media, so they have a lot of filthy tabloid type of stuff over in the, you know, celebrity gossip and all that stuff over in the other column. You know, it's mainstream media, but the fact that mainstream media is picking up on this guy's nonsense is proof that this guy is not of the Lord, okay, to me. They're using this false prophet to mock Christianity and mock the Word of God. So that pretty much tells you what side camping is really on. But I just wanted to highlight a few things from this uh, article here very quickly. It says the, the world will end at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Now, the question was raised at our Bible study last night. 6 p.m. in what time zone? Uh, Harold Camping is out in California. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so, what time? I mean, is it, is it his time zone? Is this prophecy centered around Harold Camping? You know? <laughs> I don't expect an answer from that. It doesn't make sense. But it says here, according to the followers of an evangelical Christian minister. Harold Camping is not an evangelical Christian minister. He's a hyper-Calvinist false prophet. I don't even think they got, well, I said in my last video, I don't think he's saved. Okay, he's, he's nuts. He's not an evangelical Christian minister. But you see how the mainstream media puts that little thing in there. He's an evangelical Christian minister. That way they can put all Christians under the umbrella of Harold Camping. And by the way, I, I would think that if you qualify for being evangelical, I think that you should be telling people, how they can get saved. Harold Camping doesn't do that. He says you can only hope to be saved. And you have to patiently wait for salvation. It's not the same thing. But it goes down through here. It has pictures of these poor, deceived people, you know, holding up signs and everything. And uh, it says here, a period, of a period of trial on earth for non-believers is forecast to follow and could last six months but by October 21st, all those who have not been saved will be dead, goes the prophecy. The concept of Judgment Day is a long-standing one, but the idea of the rapture is more modern, having first appeared in Christian teaching in the 19th century. <laughs> the old, isn't it, isn't it weird how mainstream media uses the same arguments as post-trib rapture people? It's kind of weird. All the rapture doctrine didn't show up till John Nelson Darby and the Plymouth Brethren and dispensationalism and whatever. I proved that thing wrong time and time again. The Council of Ephesus by the Catholic Church, they condemned it in 430 AD, I think it was. Okay, there were some of the early church fathers that had written about the rapture. Okay, and not only that, that's never been the argument. I don't even care if Nel John Nelson Darby came up with the thing. That wouldn't even mean anything to me. It's, does the Bible teach the rapture? Yes, it does, very clearly. But what camping is promoting, what he's putting across to people, it's not the rapture. Okay? Nonsense. Uh, it goes down through here. I'm just going to hit a couple things, like I said. However, this predicted date is entirely the work of Camping and, and his followers who have spent decades studying the Bible for coded messages. Okay. They can't accept literal interpretations or literal readings in the King James Bible. And he comes up with this nutty system that, you know, from Noah's flood till today is 7,000 years and, and all this stuff. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. The earth isn't even 7,000 years old. Whatever. Uh, so certain is he of his revised date following on from his 1994 embarrassment that he and his followers have spent millions of dollars on billboards across America that have been warning for weeks Judgment Day is coming May 21st, 2011. The Bible guarantees it. 
So these people have been conned out of millions of dollars to help Camping get his heresies through. Bad. Camping goes on to say, quote, We know without any shadow of a doubt it is going to happen. There's going to be a huge earthquake that's going to make the big earthquake in Japan seem like a Sunday school picnic. We'll see. Okay? I think 24 hours from now you're going to see that there was no earthquake. It's ridiculous. Camping, a civil engineer who once ran his own construction business. See, it, i got to say this real quick. I did a message recently on a guy named Vasarian. It's actually Sergei Torup in Russia. He was a traffic cop and all of a sudden he gets a revelation and now he thinks he's Jesus Christ and he has these followers and they send him all kinds of money. You'll see that a lot of times with false prophets. They start out with difficult physical labor. You know, Sergei Torup was a traffic cop. Harold Camping was in construction. And all of a sudden they get these revelations and they all, then they're a prophet and people send them all kinds of money. What's the deal? They're lazy bums that don't want to work. They're false ministers. That's what they are. They make merchandise of people. Through, covetous, uh, through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. The Bible talks about. Uh, it says here he plans to spend the day with his wife Alameda in Northern California and watch Doomsday unfold on television. Well, if he's going up at the rapture, how's he going to be here watching everything fall apart on television? That doesn't make much sense, does it? I'll probably try to be very near a TV or a radio or something, he said. If you're going to be raptured away, what are you doing watching Doomsday unfold? Okay. Um, it says here another... Thing. However, just in case the prediction is right, some Americans are making the most of their time left with rapture parties across the country, some serious, some not. Now, if you're one of Camping's followers and you're watching this and you go to a rapture party and there's a big bucket of Kool-Aid over there, I, I wouldn't suggest drinking any, <laughs> especially after if it gets after 6 o'clock. You know? Don't drink any Kool-Aid if you're going to a rapture party of Camping's. Okay? Jim Jones, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, another thing here. In Fayetteville, North Carolina, the American Humanist Association is organizing a two-day anti-rapture extravaganza. Why? If you're an atheist or a humanist or any other kind of a fool, why wouldn't you want the rapture? You'll be getting rid of Christians and you'll get proof that God's real. Why would you organize an anti-rapture event? That doesn't make any sense. You know, if you're, a, if you're an atheist, you should pray for the rapture. You should say, God, I don't believe in you, but could you make the rapture happen? We get rid of the Christians and then I'd have my proof. That should be what you want as an atheist. Um, then the family radio website. Check this out. They have on there, quote, We had a final lunch and everyone said goodbye. Wait a second. If the rapture is going to happen May 21st, why are you saying goodbye? Aren't you going to see each other again? Continuing, we don't actually know who's saved and who isn't, but we won't gather as a fellowship again. And these are evangelical Christians. They're not evangelical Christians. They're lost, hell-bound, hyper-Calvinist idiots. This stuff ticks me off because, see, they're using it to attack real Christians. And there's going to be a lot of people. These modern churches are filled with Christians, apostates, the, you know, carnal Christians that have no doctrinal basis at all. They're just, they're like little anemic sheep. You know, the ones that are saved. There's, most of them are lost, but there's ones that are saved within these big modern churches. Their faith in the rapture is going to be absolutely wiped out on Sunday disgusting. That's why I'm getting fired up about it. Continuing on here, more than 175,000 people have joined the group, leaving comments such... Oh, this is a, another thing on Facebook talking about how they're going to go out and riot after the rapture happens. More than 175,000 people have joined the group, leaving comments such as, 
when everyone is gone and God's not looking, we need to pick up some sweet stereo equipment and maybe some new furniture for the mansions we're going to squat in. You see, these kind of stupid prophecies, false prophecies from false prophets like Harold Camping, it's making the world mock the real rapture and mock Christianity. But hey, if you think this is funny, if you're one of these atheists or one of these people that's out here to push yourself on me and call me a religious fanatic and whatever else, you know, <laughs> whatever. If you're one of those, you can have all my stuff after the rapture. Okay? That's going to be a small consolation compared to what you're going to be facing. Whatever. You want to make your little heaven down here on this earth? <laughs> have at it. <laughs> uh... Continuing here, indeed, according to its tax returns, Family Radio, a nonprofit organization, well, who would have ever figured that they're a 501c3? Hmm. It says here they've raised more than $100 million over the last seven years. They own 66 radio stations worldwide, and a recent spike in activity has seen it lavish millions on its international billboard advertising campaign. But I'm sure Harold Camping doesn't take any of that money. I'm sure he lives near poverty level, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. He's a con artist. Okay, let's finish up here. And this, this last one breaks my heart. It really does. This is tragic. Okay, this, this is why I get so angry. But for some people, the rapture is no laughing matter. In Harrison, New Jersey, reformed raver John Ramsey, 25, has given up his job to spread the word with his wife, Marcia Paladines. Why do they have two different last names? Hmm. I know, you know, Spanish people sometimes will keep a name of, you know, a woman keeps her uh, maiden name or something like that, but I don't know. But it says here, Marcia, featured in the video below, is pregnant. Her due date is May 27th. God is in control. I have prayed for mercy on my baby, a crying Paladinus told the Huffington Post. But I don't know what's going to happen. If I'm here May 21st, then I will suffer the consequences of the wrath of God. I know, like anybody else, I'll deserve it because none of us are perfect. Camping, Harold Camping, when this thing doesn't happen and when you die, you're going to face a holy and righteous God that can see right through your fakeness and I believe you're going to burn in hell for all of eternity. Putting out that kind of stuff, teaching people about God and things like that in the Bible and yet that poor woman is scared. She's not saved. She has no assurance of salvation. Why? Because she's listening to a false prophet. It's disgusting. And, and if, people, if anybody out there can get to this woman or get to any of these other campingites, you know, man, I'm, I am looking forward to Sunday, okay, if we're still here. I, you know, I pray for the rapture. I pray for the coming of the Lord. But I hope it doesn't happen this weekend because I want to see family radio bite the dust. I want to see this wicked devil kicked off the air, kick him out of the country. It's disgusting. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, we'll see what happens. The false prophet has lied before, and I think you're going to see he lied again. Hundred million dollars that they've gotten at their tax-exempt 501c3 organization stole people's money and used God's name to do it. And then we get blamed for his stupid heresies. It's disgusting. But we'll see what happens. That's it. Thank you.